Hi, I'm Peyton Dale and I am your friendly neighborhood wardrobe stylist. Welcome to The Peyton Project. On this show, I'm going to give you all of my tips and my tricks that I've learned over years and years of styling. I'm going to take you behind the scenes with me as I style people's music videos and photo shoots and for every day. And we're also going to be talking to a lot of my personal friends about what makes them tick when it comes to getting dressed in the morning. Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite subjects. We're gonna talk about denim. I think denim has been kind of slept on in the last few years with athleisure being so prevalent. And leggings are great, but you need to wear jeans every now and then. Like dating, you need to really, really try on a lot of different pairs before you find your soulmate pair of jeans. So we're gonna talk about what to look for when you're trying them on, and a couple other tricks of mine up my sleeve that I use to keep these babies going. I like to think of a few things. Cut, wash, and fit. Let's get into cut. Cut is the type of jean. Skinny, flare, boyfriend, mom. And what I really don't like about the jean part of the fashion industry in general is that every few years they tell us all the jeans we bought are irrelevant. Do you remember when skinny jeans came out and all of a sudden all of our boot cuts had to go? And now we're seeing that with the mom jean becoming a huge thing. So find out what cuts you prefer. Maybe you are a mom jean, maybe you are a boyfriend jean, maybe you're all of these things. Try on the cuts that you are drawn to and see what works for you. There's mid rise, there's high rise, there's low rise, but there's also rib cage, there's also super low. There's so many different cuts. I like to go for a high rise to a mid rise because I'm short waisted. Figure out what waist you are and go from there. I do have a printout on my website. You can go to thepaytonproject.com and I will be able to tell you what your waist is in two seconds. And that way you'll be able to find out what rise you want. Wash, that is a big one. Jeans come in all colors, all different kinds of washes. The lighter the jean, the wider things are going to look. It's kind of like highlight and contour. You want to highlight the parts that you want to stand out. You want to contour the parts that go in. Same thing with jeans. So if you're self-conscious about your butt or your thighs, stay away from light wash denim at all costs. If you want to enhance that, go for a light wash. I prefer mid to black because just who I am as a person. Black jeans also, a side note, black jeans are going to run one size too small every time you buy them. So if you are a size 27 in your normal jeans, go to a 28 when you're buying black jeans. There is something about the way that the, the fabric is dyed that makes everything shrink down a little bit. It happens to everybody. Another thing about black denim, when you get new black denim, it's going to smell terrible and it's part of the fabric dyeing process. It's normal, it's natural. Before you wear your new black jeans, you need to wash them because you are going to pull your jeans off and they're going to turn your legs completely black. <sighs> it's a nightmare. With denim, you want to wash it as few times as humanly possible. And while that might sound disgusting, there are two tricks that I use to keep my denim going. One is vodka, not to drink it, but what I do is I put it in a spray bottle and as long as my jeans are not stained visibly, I spray the crotch, I spray anything else that got kind of funky, and I hang them up in my shower to dry overnight. The vodka, the uh, alcohol in the vodka, kills the bacteria that causes all the funky smells, and it goes away. It's like Febreze, but it actually works. The other trick I use is I put my jeans in the freezer, and the freezer does the same thing. It kills all the bacteria that makes all your jeans smell funky. My freezer is full of jeans right now and I'm not even the, like, the least bit sorry about it. Okay, let's talk about fit. Fit is something that people go, oh, it's tight or loose. But when you go online and you try to order something based on your fit, it also can go by length. There's petite, there is curvy, there is long, there are all these categories, and it can be really confusing if you don't know what you are to go through and go, I guess I'm petite, but maybe I'm curvy, but maybe I'm long, so let's break it down. Petite is typically saved for women who are five feet and under when it comes to jeans. The inseam on those is typically 27 inches. So a lot of my petite clients are shorter than that. So what we've ended up doing is finding these jeans that are popular right now that are cropped, that are usually about a 25 inch inseam and putting them in those. And that seems to work really well. 
On the other hand, long jeans for women are gonna start at about a 32 inch inseam. So they're gonna work for women who are about 5'9 and up. Curvy tends to be anywhere from a size six all the way to a size 28, but it's more about the proportions of your body. So it's more about if you're curvy, you have a wider hips and butt than you do a waist. And it kind of just goes from there. Every single brand has different ways of categorizing their fit, but that's typically the general rule. So now that we've tackled fit, we've tackled what wash we want, and we figured out maybe I should freeze my jeans. Let's talk about the most important part of any single jean where most people get burned the pockets. Pockets are a big deal. They're a big deal in dresses. They're a big deal in everything else, but good pockets or bad pockets will make or break a solid pair of jeans. You want your pockets to be a mid-size pocket and you want them to hit right smack dab middle in your butt. You want them to be like the bullseyes of your butt cheeks, which I know sounds crazy, but the eyes drawn to the pockets. So you want the eyes drawn right there. If they're up too high, you look like your butt starts under your back. And if they're too low, your butt looks like it's five miles long. So I like to go for a mid, like a mid rise short pocket that's a little wider because it draws the eye outward. It makes you look a little rounder as opposed to a super long, like it's kind of like just a droopy butt pocket. There's no other way to describe it. But when you try on jeans, look for different fits but also look for where the pockets hit you and does it make for a flattering overall booty? If that makes any sense whatsoever. So cut, color, fit, but don't forget the pockets. Pockets are so fun.